In this lecture, we will learn about assembly features. In simple terms, assembly features are just like normal features we are used to, like extruded cut. However, assembly features will be applied to the assembly itself rather than the part. Also, assembly features are less in numbers and are mostly subtractive features that involve removal of material. To illustrate assembly features, we will use them to complete the following assembly. You can download the drawing and the assembly files from the download section linked to this lecture. So let's get started. In this exercise, we're going to drill two holes that are shown in the drawing. And we will do this using assembly features. So if I go to the assembly tab on the top, I will see there is a tab called assembly features. And if I expand this, I will get a list of features that are mostly subtractives. So I'll start by drilling the hole on the top and I will use extruded cut for this. I will pick this top surface as a sketch plane and then I will simply sketch my hole. This is the center and then the dimension of the hole is 1.25 inches in diameter. This fully defines the sketch so now I'll go back to my assemblies, assembly features, and select extruded cut. And for the end condition, I will drill through all. And then click OK. So now I have a hole made that goes all the way through the assembly. Now I'll go ahead and do my other hole. So I select this surface as a sketch plane. And then I will draw circle. The diameter of this circle is 0.4 inches and then I'm going to assembly tab, assembly features, extruded cut again and then go through all as well and then click OK. Notice in the design tree the two features I just applied cut extrude 1 and cut extrude 2 are listed under the assembly as a whole and not under any of the specific parts we have. This is because they do not affect the part itself. So if I go to the rod and open it separately by right clicking and then select open part, you will notice that the rod does not have any of the two holes we just drilled. However, if I go back to my assembly, and then isolate the rod, right click and select isolate, you will notice that this rod actually does have the two holes in it. And here is a comparison between the rod in the assembly file and the rod as a separate file. So now one might ask, why use assembly features? We could have created those two holes while making the parts themselves or using in contacts features. And the answer is yes, we could have done that. However, with assembly features, we are trying to communicate a specific design process. We are trying to say that the individual parts should be manufactured without the holes, then assembled together, and after they get assembled together, the holes should be drilled. If we include the holes in the individual parts, we'll be saying that each of the parts should be made with the drilled hole, then the parts should be assembled together after that. Depending on your design intent, this can make a big difference. And by this, we conclude our lesson on assembly features.